In this lesson, we're going to combine a, a little bit of glue resist with some salt resist, and we're going to create a cool beach scene. So I'm going to draw with my pencil a horizon line, just to help me keep it separated. It does not have to be perfect, and it won't be perfect, but this is, actually this is not the horizon line. This is the shoreline, because we're going to have this be the sand. And then we could do a horizon line right across here. So this would be our sky, and this will be our ocean and our sand. So what I would like to do is I'm going to leave the sand mostly alone, but I'm going to do just a nice little wavy line. I don't know that you can see it too well because it's clear, but I just did a wavy little line underneath my first line drawing. So that's going to be where my water will be coming up onto the beach. So now I want to take this glue and create some more squiggly lines across the center. This is going to be the ocean, as I mentioned. And our glue will be the white caps of our waves. So you can have a whole bunch, some smaller, some longer, some thicker, some thinner, however you want to do it. And I'm going to leave the rest, the sky, I'm going to just leave because we're going to let this dry. We're going to quickly add our watercolors to the ocean and to the beach, and then we're going to throw in a little bit of the salt resist method. So once this dries, we'll be right back to add our colors. Okay, our glue for our beach scene has dried. Hopefully you can see it. We've got the little squiggly lines in for the breakers of our waves. I have a little bit breaking onto the shore, which will be our sand, and then nothing in the sky. So this one is a combination of a glue resist with some salt added in. And since this is dry, we're going to need to work very fast because the salt needs to uh, work with the wet watercolors. So first, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my, this is my teal or turquoise, and I'm just going to do some horizontal brush strokes to create a nice pale sky. And the reason I'm going for the pale look is because once we get to the ocean, it's going to be a moody, a moody ocean. You know that the ocean can be beautiful and blue or dark green and every variation of blue and green. And then it can be muddy depending on if storms have blown through. So it's definitely changing colors and we want to add as much of that effect into our ocean. All right, so I'm just gonna smooth that out. All I did was put a little bit more water on my brush and that's gonna give us a nice effect. We're gonna let that dry just a bit and I'm gonna come down here and pick up some brown. This is actually, ooh, this actually has some blue in it from my last project. Let's clean that out. Anyway, this is a burnt sienna, and I have a little bit of yellow ochre, and I'm just going to combine the two.
And once again, I'm just keeping my brush strokes horizontal. Still have a little bit of blue in that, but that's okay. I will, however, spray down my colors a bit. And so if you've been to the beach, which I'm pretty sure you have, you've seen that there are certain parts of the sand that are darker than the other and certain parts that are lighter. It gets a little bit lighter towards the area that the water is not coming up on. So just the, the dry sand is lighter. So I'm going to try to keep it lighter at the bottom of my page here. So I do need to add a little bit of water down here so that I can actually cover the page. My brush was a bit too dry. And then I'm going to add back in a little bit more of the darker color, my sienna, in this area. So I've got this glue right here and it will resist this watercolor. And I'm just going to add the slightest amount of the salt. I still have some out from a previous lesson. This is just going to give us a little bit of added texture to our beach maybe a little bit more in this area where this wave is just broken on the shore. And so now it's time to, oh, while you're doing this, make sure that you don't get any salt in this area yet. But now I'm going to just go crazy with my blues and greens and let them combine to make an ocean blue-green. And I'm working kind of quick. I noticed that some of it's bleeding into my top and that's fine. It's not a big deal. Remember, we're just playing around, exploring how different mediums interact with each other. So again, I'm keeping my strokes horizontal just because I've got this beach scene going. And now, while it's still wet, I definitely want to throw some sand, not sand, this is salt, into the mix. These could be bubbles. These could be just little spouts of water that come up or splash around, whatever you want them to be. It's definitely going to add texture. All right, so we're going to let that dry. And in fact, I think I will just take the wet end or the dry end of my paper towel. run it across where my ocean is bleeding into my sky. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to just have a little bit of a separation. So that would be our horizon line. And I'm going to let it dry like this, and then we'll come back after we will remove the, the salt and we will just fix our little horizon there. Okay, our ocean scene with the glue resist and the wax, not wax, salt resist is dry. And here's where I kind of came back in with a paper towel and wiped up some of the bleed. 
And I thought I might come in and actually add in a little bit of blue here, but I've changed my mind. And instead, I'm going to just use a clean brush and just add, all I'm doing is wiping water across the sky in the same horizontal stroke. And essentially, I'm taking some of the watercolor off. And the reason I decided to do it this way is because it just gives a nice cloud effect. And I, I didn't want to have to worry about trying to match up the lightest shades. So all I'm doing is just adding water to my brush and dragging it across. And see how that's pulled up some of the color and it looks like a, a cloud. These are lower clouds, obviously, but I'm gonna leave it like this. I've got the salt. It makes my ocean look like there's a lot of waves breaking and just it's bubbly looking. And then my beach scene here, it's darker towards the ocean and lighter towards where the sand would be dry. And I just love the way that this salt and glue resist work together.